problem uh, was that people uh, didn't understand about how you had to provide all those things for yourself in the coal camps or coal mining communities. I'm trying to get in the habit of calling them that. Uh, because in those coal mining communities, um, all that was provided for you. It was almost like you came out of school. Uh, uh, usually you were grad they graduated high school in those days. And you went straight to work for the mines. And then, you know, they took care of you the rest of your life. There's people that spent their entire life and never left there. They, uh, they did that. And I think that it's a dependency. It's an idea that, well, it'll always be this way. Right. It's not. We did not educate those people that way. Uh, my grandparents probably did a better job of educating us by say, taking us to Weeksbury, which was the older camp, and pointing out how rough Weeksbury looked. And they said, It'll be this way when we were out one day, and we said, no, nah, well, we were out, never, never drop down. But that was my mother's parents. They were they had lived in Hellier, uh, there in Pike County, and then they'd come to Weeksbury, and then they'd moved on around to Wheelwright. And they were business people. They didn't do coal mine stuff. They ran little grocery stores or restaurants, and my granddad was a barber, and uh, usually had a barber shop. And uh, so they were right. That's exactly right that uh, what happened. 